A block device is a representation of a thing that you can write data to and read data from in blocks of a few hundred bytes at a time. This here is a hard disk. If I plug it into my computer, Linux gives me a block device called Dev SDA. However, a hard disk isn't actually made of blocks. It is, after all, a disk. A block, on the other hand, is a cube. But what if we can make a block device out of blocks? So I opened up Minecraft. We can store one bit of memory with a contraption like this. You pull the lever, the torch on the other side lights up, and it stays like that. Great. The Minecraft world is divided up into chunks which seems like a good way to divide up our memory. We can fit 16 of these memory cells horizontally into a chunk. That's two bytes. Leaving a space for us to walk between them, we can then fit four of these rows into a chunk. That gives us eight bytes per layer. There are around 350 layers in a chunk, so leaving space for a floor, we can fit around three kibibytes into a chunk. This is great, very efficient. Let's make a load of these. Next, I made a mod that scans through the chunk and can read or write data into our memory cells by looking at the torches and flipping levers. Look, we can save words into a chunk. I then made an HTTP API that lets us communicate with this mod from outside of the game. I then glued this onto a thing called NBDKit which lets us create block devices using some Python. And after a load of fiddling, it worked. Check this out. I open up the game and connect, and there's a 64 kibibyte block device on my computer at dev nbd0. Now, while we can put raw data into this, it'd be much more fun if we could put files into it. Let's make a fat file system on our drive like this. There we go. We can see a load of torches just lit up. If we read what's in this chunk now, you'll see this message. I guess that's what would come up if you tried to boot your 1980s computer from our special drive. Unfortunately, I don't have any bootable floppies around. Let's mount our new file system onto our computer. Now we can put files on it. Check this out. Let's put something more interesting on there. How about the source code for all this? It just about fits. We can even go around and find where it's stored. Here it is. Now, while I made this purely for the block device pun, I think that it could actually have some value as an educational tool. It's an easy way to visualize how data storage works across the different layers of abstraction. You can write something in a file, click the save button, and actually see its effect at the lowest level. You can see the bytes turning on and off. Just maybe don't store anything important on there. Data loss can happen quite easily. <laughs>